Dan here from the Davidson Homestead. Uh, I just want to give a special shout out to my mom. Love you, mom. I know you're going to be watching this. Um, just wanted to show you what we've done in the camper. You know, we've had uh, some ups and some downs, but we have some stuff completed, and uh, thought you might like to see it. Um, got some cheap floor from the restore today, and uh, yeah, went in nice. I like it. Uh, I'm going to have to find some. Uh, some type of trim to go around the outside but it's some nice wood um, nice real thick solid stuff um, finished our DIY mason jar lights they look pretty good Let's see if that changes anything for you um, we're super stoked on those they turned out nice way better looking than what was in here uh, this piece was what was in there, but I took that apart and uh, made the mason jars work and summer painted them So we're stoked about that um, Finished the backsplash uh, This was kind of a pain I put it all in there and it looked great and we started getting cold temperatures and Everything shrunk like a lot um, to where you could see the white wall behind it and I just uh, looked at it for about a week or two and you know wasn't wasn't happy so what I ended up doing was peeling everything back off of there um, glued it up with some different glue something that I read would work better for this application and got some silicone gray caulk to run in the gaps um, let me see if I can get you a close-up. I don't know if you can see there. Um, maybe better right here. But yeah, it works pretty well. You know, I can still see the difference with it expanding and contracting, and I don't like that very much. But uh, otherwise, it looks nice. Uh, bought some super cheap trim from Lowe's and just did the corners and stuff, so it gives it that finished look. Um, still figuring out what I'm going to do with these wires. Uh, probably put some type of corner trim that matches over them and just hide it like that. But, you know, I don't know yet. Um, still have to find a vent hood fan thing for this. Uh, we were originally going to hang our pots and pans up in there and I was just going to put a couple little computer fans right there um, but summer likes the idea of a hood better so that's what we will do um, you can see here we have half painted half not painted cabinets and uh, the reasoning for that is you can see right here if I just work on it a little bit it didn't stick worth a shit so um, I've peeled everything that didn't stick well off besides for this area and uh, we're gonna sand it and repaint it um, we're like 99% there just got to do this top spot and sand the bottom of that seat um, so that they both match I guess I got to do underneath there too um, here that's pretty much it. We're painting the fake wood panels for the fridge um, black, just so it's an all black fridge. I think that's going to look the best. Um, oh, I put a little backsplash, um, some tiles that Summer picked out behind the sink and caulked it with some really weird silicone caulk. It just probably not the right application that said waterproof and all of that so I was thinking that'd be great but it, it just peels off um, and as I kind of peel off the excess that's on there because it didn't really wipe clean it just kind of pulled itself back out when I tried to wipe it like normal uh, grout um, I decided to leave it and then peel it off of the stones which works every one that I've done it on you know it turned out pretty good there um, I just got to get around to peeling all the rest of this stuff. 
but you know i probably wouldn't recommend that stuff it's kind of weird it was what was for sale right next to that vinyl tile um this is going to be our closet we just bought a pole that fits perfectly um up in this area so we can hang all our clothes and have a lot of room and yeah then I just got to pull this bottom bunk out and we're gonna put a dresser under there um, along with bringing in and putting a dresser in this little nook yeah so we're getting there you know we're hoping next weekend if we get enough stun enough stuff done during the week that uh, Next weekend, I will be pulling this down to Pagosa. Um, wish us luck. You know, it's kind of heavy for the Forerunner, but I think it'll be okay. Uh, let's see. That's that's pretty much it. Oh, the neighbor gave us a free 60-pound propane tank for a spare. So that'll be nice. And besides for that, I think that's all of the updates I have around here. Um, hopefully I'll just give you one more um, when we are completed. So stay tuned and don't forget to subscribe. Bye mom!